don't have the skill as they used to. Yeah, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I got this down. Um, it's because the people who first would go on it were the people that who uh, you know watched the videos that like Woody would put out, and those videos were to make people better, and therefore the people who were on it were better than average, and um, that's just how it is. But yeah, like. Um, I think it's, like, kind of what you said, like, the, the better people used to go on there now. Um, I have a couple friends that I actually kind of recently met on Hubbit that are, you know, super, super good. But I think a lot of the other ones I have, even though I enjoy playing with them, because they are, you know, they are decent players. It seems like the players who were kind of, like, the better players were kind of broken and I don't mean, like, broken like they're bad, but kind of just broken of playing with randoms kind of came and was looking for you know like the better people yeah like, I, I remember when i was playing world of war before like i found out like or before i discovered you know hubbit or you know playing with parties every game like i would be just hoping that i would get on the team with those those super good those super good players that were on the other team mm -hmm. yeah and it it always seemed like the good people or they weren't even that good, but the people who um, who were better than average were always on the other team, and your team was always the the, the worst of the worst. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is kind of backtracking a little, but I forgot to ask you. Um, do you like like uh, live commentaries? How do you, how do you like them like in order to you know, like the normal commentaries? Well. I I really enjoy commentaries that either inform me on either real life guns like uh, Xbox Ahoy or oh. when Ring of Redemption was doing um, his Rifle Rifle Creed. Speed. Yeah. But I also like when the game or when the commentators help me out with my my standard game because even though I do feel like I'm a, a good enough player. There's always room for improvement. You could have, you you know, you could have actually shot that guy, or like I don't mean like you could have shot that guy, but I mean you know like in the, in a situation mm -hmm. like you didn't take a shot, you should have took a shot, or maybe you should have you know taken cover behind that that barrel that one time or yeah, I think uh, Xbox and Hoy videos are awesome and um, I think it's Dunkus. I don't know if you do you know Dunkus. I, I don't know him, but I, I almost played with him before he left a lobby I was in. I think I, I, I think I played with him, um, it was either him or Bender that I played with during the Hubbit versus Onslaught and Woody subscriber event, which yeah. was awesome. I went like 58 and like 18 against just a stacked team, which, that makes you feel awesome. <laughs> yeah. And, um, my team was really good, too, because we met on Huppet, and, uh, yeah, we just walked through, but I was saying something about Xbox Hoy videos. Wow, how'd that kill me? Um, but Xbox Hoy videos, he puts, like, so much time into his videos, and I like, you know, learning about the guns that I'm using in a video game, which is, you know, yeah. I think his videos are just awesome. I also really like, uh, FPS Rush's videos. Oh, I mean, yeah. even though even though it's just it's like little gun facts, I actually like seeing the gun in action. It's I mm -hmm. dude, his golden AK is so badass. Yeah, and uh, I just realized I was talking about Dunkus. He does um, he does these videos like uh, guns of it was, but he I didn't forget what it was, but he puts the gameplay up and he um talks about like the basic stuff behind it when it was used in it's similar to Xbox and Hoys, but um it's more history about it rather yeah. than just facts and uh I like that as well. So Yeah. I really like how Xbox Ahoy kinda when he's describing the stuff in the video, he Xbox describes it in a way where it's like uh, it makes it feel more intense than it is. Like, mm -hmm. Black Ops kind of seems like a slower-paced game, but, you know, like, when he was doing the HK-21 video, it's like, you know, having a support gunner is, like, super awesome, and I was like, hell yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, so, you want to go on to the topic about Black Ops commentators, like the new ones or lack of oh, new ones? Yeah, yeah, sure. And then we'll we'll just uh, talk about the sub for sub thing as yeah, well. Yeah. Like in Mono for two, when Mono for two came out, it seems like uh, there was just a plethora of new commentators, and just they were good you know, as well. I think. Yeah, like we well, except for the, you know the ones who just you know had a million videos. Yeah. And they were just submit, uh, submitted, submitting to Machinima every day, mm. you know. But um, I think a lot of good good came out of Modern Warfare 2 with the community because of, you know, all the commentators. But for Black Ops, I kind of see a, a lack of commentators. There's not as, as many, you know, informative ones or just new ones in general. Mm -hmm. I also think that... Uh... All the regular people are just also putting out, you know, more videos, and it's hard to get found. So. Yeah, I've also noticed like the the older commentators aren't really putting out as much, uh, like help you with your game kind of videos. They're more just kind of like, hey, here's a video, and I'm gonna be talking about Garfield or something. You know, they're just kind of going uh -huh. with it. Yeah. Which, I think, well, obvious, it must mean that some people have to like that type of commentary, but, um, yeah, the tips are awesome as well, and I think T. Martin does the tips pretty well. Yeah, I, I've i learned so much from him, like, it is. it's it's awesome. And there's still people that do it, but it's just not as much, so. Yeah. Which. Now, uh. Go Lastly, on. um, for sub for sub for sub people, um, what do you think about sub for sub, box for box? Um, I don't see why people do it because, okay, you get a subscript, you get a you get someone to subscribe to you, but it um, they're not gonna watch your videos. I, I'll, I'll actually tell the story. I guess I um. Uh, I went on a Machinima Respawns channel to see what, uh, the thing with, the, I don't know, what, what's it called? With the, Sark uh, and the Hutch. Daily yeah, the daily update or whatever. Um, I went on to see that, and I saw the channel comments, and it was just filled with people saying, um, sub for sub, and like, box. Box for box, sub, sub, it was mainly just sub for sub. And then there was this one guy who was like, come check out my channel. And on his channel, he had one video with like 10 views. And um, he had like 100 subscribers. And in the comments, he was just like, uh, thanks for subscribing. And it was like, okay, you got people to want to subscribe, but they're not going to watch a video. And it's not, it's not even worth it. Eh, so Yeah, yeah. like... Having a big subscriber base, I mean, I have 17 subscribers at the at the moment, and I mean, 17 subscribers, it's fine enough for me. I'd love to have like a hundred or a hundred thousand, but I mean, at least those 17 people are watching my videos. Mhm. Mm no. Yeah. Um. So, uh, do you want to end it here, or what do you want to do? Well, I know we have one last topic, and I know you just, you love this topic. <laughs> um, if anyone out there has heard of the game Minecraft or played the game Minecraft, you know how just epically awesome it is. And Corey has Minecraft, and sadly, I do not. You need Damn. to get it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've got a Minecraft multiplayer server, and I'm hoping that once Blank gets it, we'll be able to do the, we'll do We'll do like a dual let's play type deal, which I think it's gonna be pretty fun, dude. Yeah, like uh, I have noticed an increase of Call of Duty and just YouTube commentators moving over to Minecraft. I guess I guess they're getting bored of it, um, bored of Black Ops too. So mm -hmm. find someone else to replace it. I think it's good that it, it's I, I like Minecraft because it's a game that uh, it doesn't make you rage. I mean. For the most part, unless, I don't know, you get mobbed by a bunch of <laughs> skeletons. Spark, I think, like, yeah. 
I think it'd make you rage if you had like super awesome like diamond armor and oh. like you you died in the, you died in the Nether or something that, and you're like that oh. might make you but for the most part it's you know a peaceful game you know I like it I I kind of like taking a break from like the kind of hardcore competitive games like Call of Duty and and Halo and stuff like. Yeah. When I go back and play like Skate 3 or Peggle, I mean Peggle's like my big thing right now. When I go back and play those games, it's just kind of like, oh, uh, the joy of gaming, yay. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think that's it. Yeah. You want to say goodbye? Uh, yeah, it's been a good two games, and uh, I'll see you guys, see you guys later. Peace.